morning, everyone. My name is Rennell Tinsley Mason, class of 2000, and president of the Stetson University Alumni Board. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our virtual homecoming 2020 event. While we are unable to physically be together this year, we hope that the events offered this weekend will keep you connected to Stetson and excited to come back to campus next year for homecoming 2021. This year has been one for the record books, and I know that we have all been impacted in a number of different ways. I want to let you all know that Stetson remains a strong and steady resource for all of you. As president of the Alumni Board, I am humbled at the dedication of the many volunteers who spend an incredible amount of time lending their talents and treasures towards helping to make our Stetson a better place each and every day. Many of you who are watching with us here today have volunteered to help with college recruitment events, hosted a virtual event to share your passion or your profession, attended career fairs to help hire fellow hatters, have served or currently serve on our alumni board, our advisory boards for the colleges and schools, and even our board of trustees. You may have donated to your Greek organization, to your favorite Hatter sports team, to an academic program, or to help fund student scholarships. For all of that and more, we thank you. I thank you. I have had the pleasure of working with our first guest since he was selected to serve as Stetson's 10th president. Dr. Christopher Rolkate started his tenure early this year on July 1st and has been nonstop ever since. I'd like to introduce President Chris Rolke, Stetson's 10th president, for a welcome and university update. Welcome, Hatter Nation. I'm Chris Rolke, and it's my greatest honor and privilege to be serving as Stetson University's 10th president. Thank you, Rennell, for your introduction, and thank you to all of you for engaging with us virtually for Homecoming 2020. My first 100 days or so at Stetson have been remarkable. Uh, certainly when I took on this presidency, we did not anticipate that we'd be in the middle of a global pandemic, but you should be very, very proud of the Stetson University community for how we have come together around themes of kindness, empathy, and agency as we navigate these unprecedented times. I hope this virtual homecoming finds you and your families safe and well. And I just wanted to take a few minutes to let you know how things are going at Stetson in a number of different domains. First, beyond our expectations, our enrollment at the undergraduate level, at the graduate level, and at the College of Law are far more, they're far more robust than we anticipated during this challenging time. It's exciting to me to know that students very much wanted to come back to campus, despite at that time when they were ready to come back to campus that Florida was in the United States, the epicenter of this pandemic. And I can't tell you how many times our students have thanked me about having the ability to come back to campus. They very much wanted to be here and they're delighted to be here again, despite having to be masked, despite having to be in a single room, uh, which was a decision we made early on in order to promote health and safety. Uh, they have been incredibly compliant and engaged in keeping our community healthy and safe. I also need to acknowledge our faculty who have thought outside the box, thought creatively on how best to deliver a Stetson education uh, during these challenging times. So I find myself as your new president, exceptionally grateful for all the collaboration uh, and the spirit of kindness that has permeated the campus uh, throughout this fall. A lot of exciting things on the campus. We are having many, many robust discussions on campus about inclusion and diversity. We have just completed the second iteration of our campus climate survey. And I need to thank so many of the alumni that have been engaged in this work. Uh, these are uh, and critical issues as we move our community forward. And certainly we want always Stetson University to be very, very attentive in its curriculum, in its co-curricular activities, and in our ongoing discussions to be always attentive to what's going on in contemporary society. And certainly given what's going on in the nation with regard to racial injustice uh, uh, and have an ongoing election, all this political upheaval, what better place to be than an institution of higher education than to debate and discuss these issues uh, in a civil way. Stetson has done an extraordinary job in this regard. Not only is it great to be at a university, it's particularly great to be at Stetson University because we have such a caring community, a community in which students are deeply engaged, our faculty care about their teaching, they care about their scholarship, and they certainly care about community building. So I feel, again, very honored and privileged to be serving uh, as your new president. I'm also delighted to report that Wendy Libby, uh, President Emerita, is still very much a part of our community. She chose to live in Deland, just a few miles from campus, 
Uh, I meet with her on a regular basis, and she continues to be a very valuable resource uh, for our community. I want to tell you a little bit about my family. Uh, uh, my, my wife, Kim, is a veterinarian, a small animal surgeon. My daughter, Emma, is a second year medical student at NYU uh, Long Island School of Medicine. My daughter, Julia, is a second year science educator, a sustainability fellow and basketball coach in uh, Westport, Connecticut. And my youngest daughter, Olivia, is a high school student who still resides in New York with my wife. They are both very, very eager to join me here uh, in DeLand uh, as we make this presidential transition. So that's a little bit about my family. I can't wait for you to meet them in person. I'm obviously very proud of them, uh, and I, I look forward to them being a full, fully mem full members of our community. Let me tell you a little bit about some of the exciting things that are on the horizon for Stetson. Uh, first, we have a, the most ambitious capital project that Stetson University has ever undertaken, which is the CC and Hyatt Hall for Health and Innovation. Uh, we hope to put a spade in the ground uh, for that very ambitious project uh, later this spring. Connected to that project is also planned renovations of Sage Hall. Uh, so we are going to have, again, a really wonderful set of spaces for interdisciplinary work in science and in health, and also in innovation. Uh, the campus is vibrant, despite having to be physically distant. Uh, there's a tent outside the president's lawn, uh, and I'm pleased to report that that tent has been utilized not only for our curricular uh, offerings, but also for extracurricular activities. In fact, just last week, we had uh, trick-or-treating underneath the tent in a physically distant and safe uh, manner, and that was an awful lot of fun. Needless to say, as a lifelong educator, one of the things that I've really missed, and I know our faculty and students miss it, is the real face-to-face -face engagement that we're so used to uh, at Stetson University. We pride ourselves on intellectual intimacy and really getting to know each other in, in really deep and meaningful ways. Although we have been challenged in that regard, again, I could not be more proud of the way our community has stepped up. And I wanna thank you as alumni too for offering your support and your encouragement for our faculty, our students, and our staff, who by the way, have worked tirelessly throughout this semester, again, to move a Stetson education uh, forward. One of my core beliefs as an educational leader is that it is critical that one listens before acting. And I've really committed myself over the first 100 days or so to what I've been calling my accelerated listening and learning tour. Much of that has included seven virtual sessions with alums around the country. So I wanna thank you for engagement with that. I've also met with student leadership. I've met with community leaders, including uh, local law enforcement and our mayor and our city manager. Uh, we've had wonderful uh, discussions with Advent Health, which is the largest health provider locally, to help us work through this pandemic. Uh, I've had the opportunity to uh, engage with parents, uh, certainly with the Faculty Senate and all the faculty at Stetson. Although these have not been face-to-face -face meetings, they have been very, very informative to me and have only served to reaffirm uh, my excitement about Stetson University. As a candidate, you certainly figure out, well, these, I, think this, I think I'll fit well in this place, or I think I can help this institution. Well, I'm delighted to report that all those instincts have been reaffirmed during my accelerated uh, listening and learning tour. So thank you for, again, your engagement in those activities. As you can imagine, during a global pandemic, we certainly have confronted uh, a number of challenges in trying to move a Stetson education forward. Many of our faculty have moved to remote teaching. Some of our students, including international students, could not come back to campus. For a variety of reasons, some students chose to stay home, whether it be a, a compromising health condition or a family member that needed their assistance. So what I would love to say about my early time here at Stetson is I describe this community as tenacious, resilient, and absolutely caring. And those are qualities that have really served us well throughout this semester. We were not able to compete in athletics this fall. We hope to return to competitive intercollegiate athletics in the spring semester. Again, a modified schedule, a schedule that promotes health and safety. And I know a lot of us are looking forward to supporting Hatter Nation as our athletes, student athletes, uh, begin to compete again. Again, alumni, we do need you now more than ever. Uh, we did have to reduce our 2021 budget by nearly $17 million. Uh, we have people on campus that are working exceptionally hard, wearing many different hats in order to keep our community healthy and safe. We had to spend a, a considerable amount of money, uh, nearly $2 million, to ventilate our classrooms, uh, to provide PPE, uh, to provide ample testing on campus uh, during this pandemic, uh, and again, to insert technology into our classrooms so that our faculty could move uh, their, their pedagogy forward. 
So with that in mind, needless to say, anytime there's a homecoming, anytime I interact with alum, alums, we do need your help. Uh, so we have some fundraising priorities. We have increased our annual fund goal this year from $2.7 million to $4 million. That's a very ambitious uh, ask that we are making of our community, but very much needed at Stetson University. There is no better time if you are thinking about making a gift to Stetson University to do so now. We need you now more than ever. Again, to our Hatter alumni, thank you so much for engaging with us. I hope you have a terrific homecoming. I cannot wait to meet you in person. We'll look forward to being back together in person for next year's homecoming. I again want to thank uh, Rennell for all of her work with the alumni board, and I'm delighted to return, turn this back to her to congratulate our award winners. Thank you so much to these award winners for all that you have done for Stetson University, and you too can be award winners in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Rolke. Now I have the honor of starting our presentation of the annual Alumni and University Awards. As the Alumni Board President, I have the opportunity to work with some of the very best, many of which we are here to celebrate today. These awards are traditionally handed out each year at homecoming, during the President's breakfast, and we plan to recognize these alumni next year at homecoming 2021, in addition to here today. Our first award is the Outstanding Young Alumni Award. It is presented to alumni of Stetson University 35 years of age or younger, who have demonstrated significant accomplishments or promise in their fields, leadership or civic, cultural or charitable involvement. This year, we are pleased to recognize two individuals and we have some special guests to help recognize them. Good morning, Hatters. It's so great to be with you all today celebrating our alumni, one of which I have the honor of working with on a regular basis, Courtney Edgecombe. She is one of the 2020 Outstanding Young Alumni. Soon after Courtney graduated from Stetson in 2012, her dedication to service led her to the United Way, where she joined as a resource development manager and quickly rose through the ranks. Within six short years and at the age of 27 years old, Courtney proved her worth and was named president of the United Way of Volusia and Flagler counties. While working tirelessly to improve her community and grow her career, Courtney earned a master's degree in management from Troy University. She and her husband, Robert Edgecombe, a graduate of the 2013 class, grew their family through the adoption of their four sons. Courtney continues to live out her passion for serving others. Her family prioritizes community engagement, oftentimes serving locally during disaster cleanups and with their church's various ministries. Edgecombe is credited with the launch of Generation Impact, an initiative aimed at engaging young professionals to become involved with United Way and her organization's transition to community impact. She is a 2014 graduate of Leadership Daytona and is a member of the Alumni Council. In 2020, she was named the Daytona Beach News Journal's Young Nonprofit Professional of the Year. Please join me in congratulating Courtney on this honor. Hello, everyone. I'd like to start off by saying thank you to Stetson University for the recognition as the outstanding young alumni this year. I'm humbled because I know the quality and caliber of Hatter alumni. When I was looking for a college, I wanted opportunities to grow. And during my time at Stetson, I was able to see myself and my community through a different lens. I had professors who invested in me personally and professionally, like Dr. Sapp, who challenged my beliefs and expected professionalism. Like Dr. Denner, who could frustrate, but guided me towards my future. And those who became friends, like Dr. John Titchener. They taught me how important it is to invest in other people, and I hope to be able to pass that along. I was also able to participate in the honors program, and this helped to give me vision. Not only could I connect my coursework with things that I was really passionate about, but I could design my own major and focus on the larger picture of community change. This really helped to lay the foundation for my future in nonprofit management and in innovative problem solving. I also had the opportunity to be a part of the Bonner program, and this instilled in me a love for the DeLand community. I was able to volunteer in a local elementary school and learn so much about the fabric of DeLand. Additionally, it taught me about my passion in leadership and in building strong community partnerships. Everything 
that I've experienced at Stetson has shaped me into the person that I am today. I'd be remiss if I didn't also take this time to thank my family, my husband Robert and my sons Ryan, Joshua, Gabe, and Chase. They have sacrificed so much to ensure that I can continue to give back to the community. And I love it when they join me in service. Again, I'd like to say thank you so much for this recognition and go Hatters. Hello, my name is Dr. Christopher Candace Fisher, Vice President of Student Affairs, Diversity and Inclusion at Berkeley College of Music. And I'm formerly the Vice President of Student Affairs at Stetson University. I'm delighted and humbled to be with you today. And it is my honor to present this year's Outstanding Young Alumni Award to my friend, Derek Jansanti. After graduating from Stetson, Derek joined the LGBTQ Victory Fund and Institute as a board relations associate. Within a few years, he took a position as the alumni relations coordinator at George Washington University, where he earned a master's degree in education and human development in higher education. In 2017, he moved to American University and held positions of American University experienced instructor, academic advisor, and assistant director of the COGOD Honors and Advising, and was named director of undergraduate programs of COGOD School of Business in 2019. Professionally, Derek is known to be a positive influence on students, helping them to succeed academically, personally, and in the workforce. He has been recognized at American University with the COGOD Staff Award and the Outstanding Collaboration and Advising Award and the Outstanding New Academic Advisor Award. Derek has been a committed and enthusiastic member of Stetson University's alumni board, including concluding his term in 2020 and serving as chapter chair and regional vice president. A proud, proud hatter, he promotes Stetson University wherever he can. He helps to recruit students, plans DC alumni trips, and assists with accepted student receptions. During my time at Stetson, I remember Derek's infectious, genuine, and honest personality. He had such a strong inner compass and wanted to do what was right. During our time together, when he was SGA president and I served as the organization's advisor, I recall discussing how to empower student leaders to have a strong voice about the student experience. And he was committed to doing this with action and support. He has from the very beginning of his relationship with Stetson remained committed to making it the best it can be. And my instincts tell me that he will continue to do so. Derek, I am so proud of all that you've accomplished and for your unwavering commitment to Stetson. Congratulations and all my best to you and the entire Stetson University community. Thank you. Hello Hatters, this is Derek Giansanti from the class of 2011. I am truly honored and humbled to accept Stetson University's 2020 Outstanding Young Alumni Award. First and most importantly, I would like to express my sincere gratitude to those who have supported me as both a student and as an alumnus. Mom, Dad, Aaron, Chelsea, Emily, Mike, and others, thank you all so much for the love you've given me over the years. It means so much. As was likely the case for many of you, my time at Stetson was truly transformational. I arrived in Deland from a small rural town in southwestern Pennsylvania with the hopes of broadening my perspective and exploring my identity in a place that valued academic rigor, a community, and a commitment to personal growth. Stetson absolutely delivered on those expectations for me. Simply, my experiences at Stetson, both positive and challenging, helped to lay a foundation, a solid foundation, on which I built the rest of my life. From leading the Student Government Association to trudging through group projects in the business school, to navigating young adulthood in general, I learned about the immeasurable value and significance of higher education. I've chosen a career in the higher education industry to help ensure people from all backgrounds and identities can access, afford, and thrive in one of our society's most important institutions. Colleges and universities are a public good from which we all benefit, and I've chosen to volunteer with Stetson consistently since graduation because I believe so much in who our alma mater strives to be. Now, higher education, including Stetson, has a lot of work to do to fulfill those aspirational promises. However, the fight for knowledge, 
affordability, belonging, equity, justice, and inclusion is absolutely essential. I humbly accept this award as motivation to make higher education and our alma mater better and stronger than it is today. I hope you will continue to join me in supporting Stetson to ensure it is a place in which we can all be proud and more people can succeed. Thank you again and go Hatters. Congratulations, Derek and Courtney. The next award is the Doyle E. Carlton Award and is presented in recognition of one's devotion to Christian higher education in appreciation for their extraordinary contribution to the life and development of Stetson University, the city of DeLand, and the state of Florida. Our winners this year are Bill and Janelle Watson. Uh, this is Warren Carr. I'm at the Greenville Country Club making this little presentation. And actually it's not little, it's big. Alongside of me is my wife, Barbara, and we have Philip who is on the other end of the computer. I might add that Philip was recruited by Bill and Janelle to attend Stetson University. He is my grandson. I'm very, very proud of him. And thank you, Philip, for participating in this, this reach out program. Of course. This is an event that I'm very proud and also a little humbled to make the presentation to Bill and Janelle. This is for the Doyle E. Carlton Award. This is only given to a very few who have evidenced a strong generosity to Stetson University and a commitment to the Christian values for which Stetson is well noted. And we thank uh, the people who made this uh, award possible and we're presenting it to both you, both of you, uh, Janelle and Bill, in response to the things that you've done for Stetson University. Uh, our hats off to you and I can say congratulations because you really earned this award. Just a few long years ago, and I should say long, they seem long in the calendar, but they're actually overnight. Upon graduating from Stetson University, you, the two of you, eventually formed Watson Realty and Watson Realty Corporation in about 1965. This was the beginning of your Watson world that you have created. I thank you for all the things that you've done for Watson Realty because you've affected not only clients of mine, but other people surrounding us and all around us, period. You have committed hard work and sacrifice of your family and, and friends to in order to carry out the plan for Watson Realty and the commitment which is legendary in Jacksonville and Florida, period. The company grew into the one of the most prominent and most respected uh, organizations for selling of real estate and buying of real estate in the state of Florida. Let's go back to Stetson University just a few short years ago, and that's only yesterday for, for us. At Stetson, you together attended chapel once a week, at least. We all did. You have credited your Baptist Stetson education for shaping both of you into the servant leaders that you are in fact today. My four years at Stetson was a turning point in the development of my own life, my values, my goal, my goals, and my plan to go to law school. I've done all those things, but I look back and I say, you certainly helped me along the way. Your dedication to what you did has made me feel like you became an example for all of us. I'm grateful to the many outstanding individuals who contributed to all of our growth at Stetson University, the professors and the friends we made, Sigma Nu University, and all the things that went with a college education. You chose to run your family business based upon solid Christian ethics and values. Once you were told by a manager that the company was getting a reputation all over town for spending money to solve problems that weren't really your fault. But always looking to the right thing, you responded by saying, that is great. This is an example of how you and Janelle have walked the walk of the Christian faith in a humble and caring way. Stetson is indeed proud of you 
And that is the reason why this award is being presented to you. And I am most pleased to make that presentation, even if it's by Zoom. You're well known in Jacksonville and the surrounding area for your generosity for charities. And you're very well known in the land for your contribution for Watson Field, named after you, and the beautiful practice field that it has now become along Amelia Avenue. Watson Realty Corporation and Watson Mortgage Company has also sponsored the first sales lab, known as the Watson Sales Lab, that is housed in the School of Business at Stetson University. These are only a small example of the many things that you have done. Your reputation spreads far and wide, not only just in D-Land, not just in Jacksonville, but in other places as well. And I put on this uh, proudly to say thank you, Bill, for all the things that you have done for Stetson and all those who surrounded you. Thank you very much. Janelle and I are honored and thrilled to receive the Doyle E. Carleton Award. Stetson University has had such a positive influence on our success in business and on our personal lives. The four years we spent at Stetson University were very special to us. We received a quality education and a desire to live our lives in a positive manner. When I enrolled in the business school, one of the courses I took was Principles and Practice of Real Estate. Professor Roger G. Giles made the course exciting and inspiring. He presented a vision of unlimited opportunities for those willing to apply their talents and work hard. The seed was then planted for me to start our own real estate company. It's ironic that my favorite game growing up was Monopoly. We have kept our ties with Stetson by attending almost every homecoming since we graduated. We have maintained friendship with our fellow students over the years. Ten members of our family have graduated from Stetson. Janelle's sister and brother-in-law were also long-term professors at Stetson. We are pleased that our success has enabled us to support Stetson and its programs. It has been our pleasure to give back to Stetson, which has meant so much to us. We have always felt it was special privilege to be a Stetson graduate. Thank you, go Hatters. Congratulations, Bill and Janelle. Our next award is the George and Mary Hood Award. The George and Mary Hood Award is given in honor of Dr. George Hood, former Dean of Students, Professor and Director of Student Counseling Services, and his late wife, Mary Turner Hood, longtime assistant to President and Chancellor J. Ollie Edmonds. It is presented annually to a member or friend of the Stetson University community in recognition of his or her passion for and commitment and contributions to Stetson University and its core values. This year's recipient is Luis Maldonado. Thank you and good morning everyone. My name is Belkis Torres, class of 2001, and today it is my honor to help celebrate my lifelong friend and college roommate, Luis Maldonado, this year's recipient of the George and Mary Hood Award. Like me, Luis was a first generation student who graduated Stetson in 2001 with his English degree, magna cum laude. That year, he was selected our commencement speaker. He was also honored with the Algernon Sidney Sullivan Award, the June Brooks Award for Social Activism and Public Service, the Ann Morris Essay Prize, and was named one of the state's top 20 leaders by Florida Student Leader Magazine. After graduating from Stetson, Luis continued his education at the University of Florida, where he earned his JD cum laude. And as he did at Stetson, Luis earned awards and recognition for his hard work both inside and outside the classroom. Upon graduating from law school, Luis began his career working with the Legal Aid Society of the Orange County Bar Association for two years. In 2006, he joined the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement as Assistant Chief Counsel and then became an Associate Legal Advisor for the National Security Law Section within ICE in Washington, D.C. He returned to the Orlando office of ICE in 2011 as Deputy Chief Counsel. In November of 2016, he relocated to Atlanta 
where he served as associate counsel with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. And earlier this year in March, Luis was appointed an immigration judge for the Department of Justice's Executive Office for Immigration Review. Luis has remained involved at Stetson since leaving the DeLand campus. He was a graduate of Leadership Stetson's inaugural class and served as a member of the College of Arts and Sciences Advisory Board for six years before joining the Board of Trustees in 2017. In memory of a professor who made a significant impact in so many of our lives, Luis established the Dr. Ileana Mencken First Generation Student Endowed Book Fund and has contributed to the Stetson community with his time, talent, and treasure in a variety of ways. I'd like to congratulate Luis for receiving this award and thank him for all that he does for Stetson University. Luisito, felicidades en tan merecido reconocimiento. Te lo mereces y te quiero. Greetings from Memphis, Tennessee, fellow Hatters, and to the rest of the Stetson community. I'm humbled to be receiving the George and Mary Hood Award, but frankly, it's been really easy for me to be passionate about the university just because of everything that Stetson has given me. I entered Stetson as a first-generation college student with a lot of drive, uh, a lot of passion, but frankly, not a lot of direction. I was rough around the edges and I thought I knew it all. I love Stetson because it humbled me in a compassionate way. It stretched me, it challenged me. It showed me the value of listening to opposing viewpoints and of thinking critically about things before running in any given direction. In the end, Stetson made me a better student, a better leader, and a better person. I've seen the university's response to various things throughout the year, um, most recently with COVID. You know, I've seen the university, uh, you know, set up funds to help those students impacted. I saw how its faculty and staff have worked really long hours to give those students the Stetson experience, but in a safe way. And I saw how the university responded to help those students who were affected by the storm that ripped through the land at the beginning of the semester. And frankly, all of those things, they show Stetson's heart and that's what resonates with me. And that's what makes me want to be involved with Stetson. And that's what makes me passionate about it. So thank you for this award and go Hatters. Congratulations, Luis. The Distinguished Service Award is presented annually to a graduate or friend of the university in recognition of their personal commitment to the ideals and objectives of the Stetson University Alumni Association and dedicated service and advancement of the goals of the university. This year, we're proud to recognize two alumni who are both the ultimate examples of servant leadership. Good morning, everyone. I'm here to help honor Nancy Days, our next Distinguished Alumni Award winner. Nancy earned her degree in humanities from Stetson University in 1972. She's a retired international marine conservation professional now active in local environmental and civic issues. She's a member and chair of the Advisory Council for the Institute for Water and Environmental Resilience, and that's where I've gotten to know Nancy. Nancy had a distinguished 22-year career with NOAA Fishery Service after working in the business and nonprofit communities. At NOAA, she worked to establish a structure for constituent groups to provide input for the implementation of the Marine Mammal Protection Act. She coordinated all agency activities concerning international wildlife trade, and she initiated a capacity building program for developing countries to improve their marine conservation. That's a mouthful, and that's a lot of wonderful hard work. After retiring from NOAA, Nancy became involved as a volunteer for several organizations. At Stetson University, she serves as a member of the College of Arts and Sciences Advisory Board. She currently also serves on some other boards that include the Tybee Island Marine Science Center, the New Power Pact, the Sierra Club of Georgia, the Ocean Foundation, and Georgia Interfaith Power and Light. She's also active in Georgia politics and she helps to support women who are seeking public office. I'd like to thank Nancy for all that she's done, not only for Stetson University, but for our entire community and for the entire world, in fact. So thank you, Nancy. I was a late bloomer. I started in the Stetson School of Music, and after a year and a half, I realized I didn't want to commit my life to any of the professions I was preparing for. 
I'll be forever grateful to Dean Edder Turner and Dr. John Haig for coming up with a way through the American Studies program that I could piece together a degree in humanities that would enable me to graduate in four years. I didn't do much better with planning in the working world until 1985 when I found marine conservation. I was hired by a small nonprofit that cared more about the fact that I would work cheap than the fact that I had no expertise in the field. I loved the discipline and I loved the governmental processes that provided the means to implement it. I loved working on international issues. The job also provided me the on-the-job training that made it possible for me to get a job with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, work that I loved for 23 years. As I was preparing to retire, Linda Davis reached out to me. I was leaving a job that I loved and I was looking for a new challenge. I found that challenge in Stetson's Institute for Water and Environmental Resilience. Being the chair of the advisory committee for the Institute has given me a way to give back from the skills I learned after I left Stetson. I've also been able to connect Stetson with contacts and ideas from my days at NOAA. It's said that you should think globally and act locally, and that's what I'm doing. I'm sure you're going to hear many people at this ceremony who will tell you how Stetson prepared them for success in their lives. But I'm here to make the case for carving out a spot for Stetson later in your life because Stetson can present you with opportunities for growth at whatever part of your life you choose. The way I see it, both you and the school will benefit from it at whatever time you choose to do it. But like I said, I'm a late bloomer. Good morning, I am honored to present the Distinguished Service Award winner for 2020 to Richard C. George he had a BA in political science, 1976, and I am George Ellis Hunt, Jr. I graduated in 1975. It is an honor to be part of the presentation for my good friend, fellow Hatter and Pike brother, this year's recipient of the Distinguished Service Award, Rich George. Rich and I were at Stetson together in the early to mid 70s and have stayed closely connected over the years. I believe we met when I got there in January 1972. Probably both of us in the uh, met at the Pike Fraternity House, where we have hundreds of wonderful memories, um, and we have shared other interests over the years. In 2006, I called checking on him, and Lilas, his wife, told me he was really into Harley's. I had just bought my third Harley, and we went on a lot of wonderful trips together. We went to Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee. Um, we did a number of Daytona bike weeks together, which is quite an experience. Um, and we met a lot of people and we had a safe time and we both got out of the motorcycles. We also did some car racing and ran the Daytona Speedway, I think three times, ran the Sebring 12 hours racetrack three times and had a, a lot of fun doing that and safely got out of that hobby. So we're gonna move on here. Rich was a poli sci major at Stetson who began his public career serving in key management positions as a Volusia County government administrator in Central Florida with an emphasis on growth management and public land acquisition. His last government position was as Seminole County's deputy county administrator. Since 1988, he has been president of R. George and Associates, a land-based company that designs and builds libraries, media centers, computer centers, specialized spaces. In addition to serving as consultants around the country, Rich's company has completed more than a thousand projects in Florida, including the expansion and renovation of Stetson's DuPont Ball Library and Stetson College of Law. And just to be clear, he did not do the physical buildings, but he completed the interiors of 
and or renovated existing or brand new libraries. Um, Rich has been involved with Stetson having served on the Greek Alumni Advisory Board and the College of Arts and Sciences Advisory Board, as well as serving in various active roles in the land, such as the Museum of Florida Art. He was elected to the Board of Trustees in May of 2012 and currently chairs the Facilities Management Committee. If you have spent more than 10 minutes with Rich George, I'm sure you've heard a lot of in-depth details about Stetson and what's going on. I've heard a lot about the facilities management. Um, I've seen and ridden by the uh, new land acquisitions around the campus. I have heard a lot about the water initiative um, and Rich is very passionate and dedicated to Stetson. Um, it's, uh, Stetson's lucky to have Rich and Rich was lucky to attend Stetson and receive his degree there. And, uh, Rich was also instrumental in helping getting the Pi Kappa Alpha fraternity back on campus. They had lost their charter at some point after we left. And Rich and some others were able to get the charter renewed and also get a fraternity house back on campus. And that was a big deal and, and meant a lot. And I know it means a lot to young men that have been able to attend and become Pikes and add that to part of their college experience. Rich and his wife, Lilas, have supported many initiatives at Stetson over the years, and the most recently, they established Richard and Lilas George Endowed Fund to the Institute for Water and Environmental Resilience. So, Rich, it's an honor to present this to you. I wish that we were all together at homecoming this year, but I'm looking forward to next year and hoping that we'll be together in person rather than Zoom. Congratulations again, brother. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you. Hello, fellow Hatters and friends. It's an honor to be recognized by my alma mater with this Distinguished Service Award. It was 50 years ago this fall that I first stepped on to the Stetson campus in DeLand. As a son of two proud and patriotic immigrants, it was our family's dream to send their kids to college. Where did the time go? I knew immediately that I had found something very special, but I had no idea that it was the beginning of a long lasting passion. One that has given back to me and our family in so many ways. To find something that you care deeply about, the kindness, a life broadening liberal arts education, and the many wonderful friendships I've made throughout the years. These are gifts that we continue to cherish, gifts that truly enrich our lives. Stetson's DNA is real and needed and continues to serve our world in ways that are so important to a healthy, forward-thinking, and civilized society. The world needs more Stetsons. I hope to continue to serve the university and the many different communities she includes. And I hope that you will find a lifelong passion to which you love to contribute. Perhaps, as so many of us have, you will find it here at Stetson. Thank you again for this honor and go Hatters. Congratulations, Nancy and Rich. Our final award this morning is the Distinguished Alumni Award presented annually to alumni who through outstanding achievement in their lives and professions have brought distinction and special recognition to Stetson University. This year, we are pleased to honor three individuals. Hello, my name is Lisa Carlton and I'm a proud member of the Stetson University class of 1986. And it is my honor today to help celebrate my sister and my friend, Kimberly Carlton Bonner, this year's recipient of the Distinguished Alumni Award. Kim Carlton Bonner is an eighth generation Floridian who grew up here on our family ranch, which she now manages with my mother and myself. Her connections to Stetson University, they run deep with her father, 
grandfather, sister, uncles, and niece, and many family members count themselves as proud alumni of Stetson University. She earned a degree in history from Stetson University before continuing on to the University of West Florida, where she earned a master's degree in history. She holds her Juris Doctorate degree from Pepperdine University College of Law and a Master of Judicial Studies degree from the University of Nevada at Reno. She began her career as an assistant state attorney. She soon moved to private practice and then to Washington, D.C., where she served as staff attorney for the United States Department of Agriculture. She returned to Florida, where she was in-house counsel for a large insurance company. And in 2002, she was appointed as a Sarasota County judge. She was elected and unopposed for two terms as county judge. And in 2012, she was unanimously elected president of the Florida Conference of County Judges. She was appointed as a circuit judge of the 12th Judicial Circuit in 2013. And on July 1st, 2019, Judge Bonner notably became the first woman to hold the position of Chief Judge of the 12th Judicial Circuit, unanimously elected by her fellow judges. She serves as chair of the Education Committee for the Florida Conference of Circuit Judges and has been involved in judicial education for several years. In 2020, Florida Supreme Court Chief Justice Charles Kennedy appointed Judge Bonner to a statewide task force addressing the state courts and reopening during the COVID-19 pandemic. Outside of work, Kim is involved with organizations such as the Daughters of the American Revolution and the National Association of Women Judges, local historical societies, and has served as a volunteer in the 4-H program for many years. So from our Stetson family to your Stetson family, please join me in congratulating my sister, Chief Judge Kimberly Carlton Bonner, as the 2020 recipient of Stetson University's Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations to Kim, and of course, as always, go Hatters. Hi, I'd like to thank you so much for this uh, alumni award. It is a great pleasure to receive it. I have many fond memories from my time at Stetson. I am a proud third generation Hatter. Uh, I do thank you very much for this honor and I look forward to seeing everybody in person next year. Thank you. Hello, my name is Diane Mie Cook. I'm a current Hatter parent to a freshman at Stetson. His name is Luke Mie and I'm also a friend to Stephen and Lee Alexander. I am honored to have been asked to present this year's Distinguished Alumni Award to my good friend, Stephen Alexander. I personally have numerous connections with both Steve and his lovely wife, Lee, including serving together on the Advent Health Board. And I'll have to give credit where credit is due. The Alexanders are some of, if not the best recruiters that Stetson University has. I can attest to that fact because it was the Alexanders who were instrumental in my son Luke enrolling here as a freshman this fall. And I must say, Luke is enjoying every moment on campus and he is hatter through and through. A little bit about Steve. Steve is a native Floridian. He graduated with a degree in finance from Stetson University in 1985. He has also been a Stetson trustee since 2012 previously serving as a member of the School of Business Administration Advisory Board. After Stetson, Stephen continued his education, earning a degree in accounting from Florida Southern College. And he holds a mini MBA from Rollins College, Crummer Graduate School of Business. He is a certified executive coach and holds executive certificates in leadership, nonprofit management, and endowment investing from some of the most respected institutions in the nation. Stephen worked for nine years in the Orange County Comptroller's Office, holding positions of increasing responsibility, including treasurer. After leaving the Comptroller's Office, he joined PFM Asset Management LLC in 1996. Within six years, he was named Managing Director of PFM's Orlando office overseeing the asset management practice in the southeast of the country. If you're not impressed yet, just wait. Stephen holds designations of Certified Treasury Professional, Certified Government Finance Officer, and Certified Public Pension Trustee. 
He served on the Investment Policy Certification Committee for the Association of Public Treasurers of the United States and has served as a Government Finance Officers Association Standing Advisor for the Treasury and Investment Management Committee. He is a member of the Association of Governing Boards of Universities and Colleges. Civic-minded and having a desire to better his community, Stephen is currently a board member of the Central Florida Coalition for the Homeless, the Orlando Economic Partnership, and the Orlando Regional Chamber. He has held governor and commissioner appointed board positions, as well as previously serving on the boards of Advent Health, Cardiovascular Institute Foundation, the Orlando Science Center, Orange County Regional History Center, and the American Heart Association. Stephen has long been a champion for Stetson University with involvement in many areas. Currently, the vice chair of the board of trustees, Stephen has served on the finance and investment committee and was chairman of the Development and Alumni Relations Committee. Stephen and his wife, Lee, were instrumental in the successful completion of Stetson's $150 million campaign. Their generosity towards Stetson University includes supporting Stetson football, basketball, and baseball, and establishing the Stephen and Lee Alexander Scholarship, which benefits first-year finance students. Steve has been married to Lee, a non-rehatter, for 15 years and enjoys traveling, music, college football, great food, and their great friends. His stepson, Jake, and his wife, um, Kate, live in Atlanta, where Jake is a corporate bankruptcy attorney, and Kate is a scientist and also finishing her PhD at Emory. Please join me in congratulating my amazing friend and a recipient of this year's Distinguished Alumni Award. Congratulations, Steve. I'm honored and humbled to be selected for the Distinguished Alumni Award. If you know me, you know that everything Lee and I do for Stetson is because of our love for the university and the incredible commitment of its people, students, faculty, staff, and alumni moving the university forward no matter what. To be honored for doing what you love is just icing on the cake. Lee and I are lucky to live 45 minutes away from the land campus. There's always something going on, and it's great to be at Stetson at a sporting event or attend a music performance. Spring and fall of this year have changed so much for so many. I don't know if you're aware of all the incredible efforts of the entire university in keeping the campus open, planning for classes, during COVID-19 and welcoming students back. This fall, our faculty prepared classes in two ways. Once in a hybrid format with some online and some face-to-face, -face, and again, as fully online classes. Our campus life staff have worked tirelessly in reconfiguring the residence halls to single occupancy for the safety of students, creating safe check-in plans, arranging for testing, and working with our partners at Advent Health and County Health to put together important plans and policies. Stetson staff even shifted to fill needs. For example, athletic staff have been working in admissions and enrollment management. Other staff have volunteered their time to deliver food to students as well as contact tracing for health services. It's people who make Stetson great and keep us engaged. And engagement is key to Stetson's vibrancy. So today, I invite you to engage with Stetson. There are many ways to participate. Contact the campus alumni office, visit our campuses in Deland and Gulfport. Campuses are open, but there are visitor requirements. Attend a lecture or concert online. The university has moved events that attract large groups to virtual formats and they're accessible anywhere. Talk to your students and their friends about exploring Stetson's many academic undergraduate and graduate professional degree programs. Host a virtual Stetson event in your communities. Open doors for students to internships, mentoring and career opportunities. Attend our virtual homecoming and help to organize and host your class reunions. And consider supporting Stetson students and academic programs with your gifts of time, talent and treasure. As graduates, we are the fiduciaries of this prestigious and forward-thinking university. 
We would love to have you join us in continuing to make it greater for future generations of Stetson Hatters by getting involved today. Aristotle said, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. It's about the students and the hearts they bring to Stetson from different places and backgrounds with different hopes and dreams. The possibilities and potential and opportunities are endless. What a privilege to get to be involved and see them receive their education at Stetson and to know that it extends beyond books. Stetson creates in students a desire to go out into the world with a commitment and heart to serve their communities and to positively impact the world around them. A world they will leave their Hatter mark on. Go Hatters! Well, welcome Hatters. I'm Wendy Libby, President Emerita. That's a new title for me of Stetson University. And it is so nice to be here with you again to celebrate our university and to help honor some of our best and brightest. And in this case, it's Yvonne Chang, our 2020 Distinguished Alumni Award winner. Since joining Walt Disney Company in 1998, Yvonne has held numerous executive roles across differing business entities, like the World, Walt Disney Res World Resort, Walt Disney Parks and Resorts, and most recently, the Disney Vacation Development Area. She's been responsible for things as different as multi-market business development, diversity and inclusion, public affairs, internal communications, business intelligence, and operations. Before joining Disney, Yvonne held leadership roles at AT&T and Lucent, but what you may not know about her is that she began her career as an electrical engineer at VSE Corporation, working on the design and production of military defense systems. Yvonne earned her Bachelor of Science degree in electrical engineering from George Mason and her executive MBA from Stetson University. Yvonne and her husband of 24 years, Bill Wall, live in Orlando where they are both enormously committed to serving their community. Yvonne has volunteered and has served on a number of community and industry boards, including the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Metro Atlanta, or Orlando, the Hispanic Business Initiatives Fund, Orlando Magic Youth Foundation, Disney SBA National Entrepreneurship Center, the Coalition for the Homeless, the Second Harvest Food Bank of Central Florida, Women United Incorporated, excuse me, Women Unlimited Incorporated, the African American Chamber of Commerce of Central Florida, and the American Resort Development Association, known as ARDA. For her industry achievements and community service, the ARDA recognized Javon with the Circle of Excellence Women on Her Way Award. Since receiving her executive MBA from Stetson in 2009, Yvonne, along with her husband, Bill, have been passionate about supporting Stetson. Immediately following her graduation, she joined the School of Business Administration Board of Advisors and later served as a board chair. She is currently a member of our Board of Trustees and chairs the Committee on Marketing and Enrollment. It is really a pleasure to have a graduate of our EMBA program serving on the board because it gives us so much additional insight into not only the business school, but the MBA and executive MBA program. On the personal side, I just want to mention the um, warmth that I felt when Yvonne was a, co a convocation speaker and Bill and her dad came along. And just watching her and how, how solicitous and gentle she was with her aging father, was um, just gave me a remarkable warm feeling about the kind of relationships that Yvonne starts and follows through. I'll also say that she served on a number of Dean searches and it didn't matter how bad the weather was or hard, how dark the night was, 
She drove all the way up for di from Disney to meet all of our candidates, have dinner with them, and it never showed how much stress she was under or really the Herculean effort she made to come up and be part of something to which she had committed. So I am really thankful to call Yvonne, my friend. Please join me in congratulating her and thanking her for all she's done, not only for the business community, not only for women and men professionals, but for Stetson University as well. Good morning. Thank you so much for this incredible honor. I am truly humbled to be here with you alongside my fellow award recipients who I tremendously admire and respect and all of you, the Stetson Hatter community that inspire me each and every day. 13 years ago, in the midst of many years of work and a lot of life events happening, I finally decided to stop and invest in myself and to go back and get my MBA. I chose Stetson because Stetson, of course, had a tremendous reputation, a great program, and I knew that getting the degree was going to uh, improve my life and, and that I was going to be very proud of that degree for many years to come. But little did I know or could have guessed that I was going to fall in love with Stetson and all of you and all of the amazing work that we do together as a community. It has been truly a labor of love over the past decade, working alongside so many of you, so many bright, passionate and caring leaders to really transform our beloved institution and continue to make it a great and wonderful place for many generations to come. I truly value this relationship that I have with Stetson. It's one of the most rewarding aspects of my life. And I am so honored uh, to be here with you this morning. And I look forward to many, many more years of wonderful things that we're gonna accomplish together and um, of our friendship. Thank you. Congratulations to Kim, Stephen, and Yvonne. We've come to the end of our awards presentation and look forward to celebrating everyone again next year on campus at Homecoming 2021. We thank all of you for watching along with us and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the weekend. Stay safe and go Hatters! <laughs>